So we're out here getting involved in the spirit of Christmas by giving out no turkey sandwiches. And um, there's nothing more opposed to the spirit of Christmas than what you see on those screens. Oh my God. I can you kill a chicken? I eat, I'm eating that chicken's trauma, so why am I gonna put dead energy in my body? I just I just don't like the work itself. I don't like the horn and the calves and all that sort of stuff. I hate it. Like yeah. When I don't get the dairy, I don't get the trip to fun. So I have loads of soya, but I just don't sleep and I have insomnia. Do you want something to eat? We're giving oh, out food. It? No, it's free. This is, is free it? food. You know what? I have. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm vegan probably three days out of seven. Oh, okay, so you eat plant based on three yeah. days? Yeah. Okay. Um, like the corn, Scotch eggs, and all different things and vegan. Uh, yeah. And because vegans like a philosophy against the animal abuse and cruelty. Yeah. So like, it's like when you're against something, you're a vegan. So you, when yeah. you're against the animal cruelty, you're always a vegan. It's like. Yeah. What you're talking about is like you eat plant-based some of the time, you like so you choose plant-based foods here and there, but what to actually make a change by? Yeah, when you go vegan, just something changes in your mind, and yeah, you're like, I'm always against yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you never support it. You don't like if you're against child abuse or this type of like racism, you don't just yeah. practice it here and there. Like it's made of plants. Plants. Yeah. yeah. Vegan. Here, take this. If you scan this with your phone, you have a free download pack. It shows you where to get everything vegan. Okay. Are you hungry, mate? Uh, no, you're, you're vegan, aren't you? Yeah, we're vegans, yeah. Right, so me and my Hare Krishna, yeah? sometimes I'm vegan, sometimes I'm vegetarian. Yeah? Oh, really? And I can't stick with the vegan thing. What seems to happen is I can't sleep at night, so I try tryptophan, yeah? Because I'm not getting tryptophan from dairy. When I, I, usually I have oh, you like, made a case of morphine in there? No, I, usually I have like, you know, cafe in the morning, yogurt for breakfast. You know, sometimes cheese uh, with a sandwich and then like, you know, milk at night, yeah? I can sleep like a baby, you know, eight, ten hours sometimes. When I don't get the dairy, I don't get the tryptophan. So I have loads of soya, but I just don't sleep and I have insomnia. So what I did was I got a um, tryptophan supplement and my leg ballooned last year and had a big infection in my leg because it can tighten the arteries in your leg. Really? So what do you do? About well, sort well, of like I've, sleepless. I've you, actually never heard of that before. You've never had that? I've never heard of it before. Well, I just can't stick with it. You know, I try it like we were here the other day, Chandni Hari Krishna. As a, as a Hari Krishna, Krishna though, yeah. as a Hari Krishna, um, do you consume dairy from the normal dairy farms out here? Well, we, we've tried to do a himsa milk, you know, like not yeah. violent and like same with ghee if we can, but we can't do that. So we believe in like cow protection, like protecting the cows and I the calves and not slaughtering them, you know. The dairy industry is rife with cruelty you know, so and that's suffering. What I'm so I, that's why I went vegan, and I've done it now. I bet you I've done it about three or four times, and I've just not been able to stick at it. Like sometimes, what people do is when they stop eating like calorie dense cheese, yeah. they take some of the calories away from their diet. Yeah, and then you so you might be a little bit hungry yeah. at yeah, night, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you might be a little bit more wired because you're not eating enough. Yeah, I mean, I'm vegan, like, you know, well, Merry Christmas, or what can you do? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, if you talk about non-violence and there's nothing more, th I feel like the dairy industry is one of the most violent industries on earth. Yeah. Because they, they uh, here in the UK, they take the, the calves away and they yeah, kill yeah. the male calves. Yeah. On the farm, they just shoot them in the head. Yeah. Um, the female calves, they grow up for a, about a year and then they get forcibly impregnated, have their calves yeah, taken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After four or five years, they get they go to the slaughterhouse, get turned into beef and leather. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's a horrible industry. It, you know, if it's non-violent and the cows and calves are protected like the Vedic culture believes to protect the cows and the calves and don't slaughter them, mm. cow protection, that's what the Vedic culture is about, it's thousands of years old, then you don't need to be a uh, vegan if you're, if you're having a himsa milk, which is non-violent, you know. Do you think, so, I've heard of a himsa milk, but do you think that the whole population can have a himsa no, milk? No, that's why I've gone vegan. So it's, it's yeah. possible, and I think, possible. like, to advocate cows as resources is what got us into this mess mm. like animals as resources like because I've heard the back it's similar to the backyard egg argument mm. you know uh, if I have my own hands and we rescued them from a factory farm can we eat the eggs and it's like as soon as we commodify an animal mm. that's where the whole industry began like you've seen people say uh, we'll just drink the milk there's no harm in that well there is now <laughs> because milk is now a product you know so mm. I mean maybe you're not reinforcing the ethics into you strong enough I don't like it though, I don't like dairy. I get sick of dairy, it's like too much dairy. I just, one guy said to me, you're just gonna become a cow. Well, you eat that much dairy. You're, you're not a baby a cow, cow, so you, you're not a baby cow, so I don't, it should, it should be for the baby cows only. And then there's a massive ethical implication of what you're doing. And I don't know if, if you believe in karma or anything like that as a yeah. Hare Krishna and, yeah. yeah, I mean. That's why they say there's wars, you know, because we're slaughtering the cows. 
I mean, and cows are always going to suffer because of it, because they have to take the cows away generally to to make dairy industry profitable. You know, I mean, I know there's these himsa dairies where they leave the calf with the mother and they don't. There's non-slaughter, but like that's just a, a finite sort of. It's a finite system, because okay, they don't slaughter the cows. They're going to have all these cows and keep producing dairy, and then they stop producing dairy. They keep them in the sanctuary. It's just you can't go on forever like that. It's just. Yeah, it's not sustainable. Just don't know how I can stay vegan when I suffer so much doing it. You know, I get very flat, very depressed. And uh, it sounds like to me like, I don't know, but it sounds like because dairy is a very fatty food and it's, it's full of calories. And if you, t if, you t if you remove a bunch of calories from your diet and you, you replace it with something that's lower fat, yeah. then you're probably lacking a bit of energy. Yeah, last time I lost a stone. And then this time I just like bloated in the face when I went back on the dairy, bloated in the body. And even now within, since Friday, I'm already losing weight out of the face and probably it'll start coming out of the body. Is it the lactose as well, like the sugars in, in the milk that, that bloat you and, and put the weight on as well? No, the milk is full of hormones because it's oh. a pregnant cow usually, um, so it's full of uh, like estrogen. Oh, right. So that's but, not good for your testosterone yeah. levels then, is it? Phytoestrogen from soy doesn't affect us in the same way because it's yeah. from a plant. It's a different type of thing. It's not actually a hormone, but the estrogen from cows, it's you know it's supposed to blow up a baby cow really big. Have you seen that um, film that they've put out that, uh, with the bodybuilders and stuff like that? Was it Called. Uh, it's called Game Changers. Yeah, so yeah. I watched that. There's good influences there for me. I'm just hoping that this time I can stick at it. Like I say, I'm just going to try and do whatever I have to do, you know. Well, I, I got off uh, meth and hard drugs and alcohol and cigarettes and uh, I, I got off heroin once in my life. So, I mean, yeah. and that was uh, something that was more of a personal choice. I mean, I was hurting people around me a bit, but yeah. I could have taken the meth and just been an addict and not hurt anyone. But when you talk about having dairy, like you're, you're addicted to it, but you're harming others to get it. You know, I think it's a little bit more of a different situation. But if I can kick these drugs and it was more harming me than, than others, then it should be more of a, if you think of the cows when you're doing it, I think it's more of an easier decision. Yeah. It's not hard for you to kick the dairy. It's hard for cows if you keep contributing to that industry, you know. That's the egg industry there. They, they kill the males because they don't produce eggs. Yeah. They, they, they take their, their beaks off so they don't bite each other in the sheds. If you download this, this little pack here, you scan it with your phone and it's got a bunch of uh, supermarket stuff that you can get. Like, um, so with meat, there's a bunch of different vegan meats and with eggs, there's, there's a few different things for eggs. Uh, scrambled tofu is a good one. Um, there's all vegan milk, so there's oat milk, rice milk, almond milk or whatever. So I've, can't, I've been on the fence like for quite a while. Yeah. Like, yeah, obviously I, like, I, love, I love meat and right, stuff. See you later, then, anyway. Bless you, my brother. Take a lot of your time. I appreciate you, man. Take right, care, mate. Obviously, I love meat. I do kind of see, like, the you know, side to it. It's like, it kind of makes you think, is this right? Yeah. Like, what, what you're doing, but I don't know. When you say meat, you're right, you got to imagine what that is. It's the body of someone yeah. who didn't want to die. Yeah. Most of the time, this is me at a sanctuary, but most of the time they're living in horrible suffering. Like, statistically, most of the animals here in the UK are factory farm, no matter what they tell you. Um, vast majority of chickens, turkeys, pigs, ducks, um, you name it, they're in factory farms. Now, the, the, the lambs and the, the cows, yeah, maybe they're out in the pasture a bit more, yeah. but um, they're still being mutilated and executed in the slaughterhouse. Yeah. So, so what is it that you do then, Mike? We just ask people to, like, go vegan. <laughs> We're asking people to like attack the demand thing. Like you demand the slaughterhouses. We're asking you to stop demanding that they slaughter the animals. Right. You know what I mean? It's, it's like a boycott. What would we do with all the animals though? Yeah, it's, well, what, they, they'd stop breeding them. So they'd meet the demand. So they'd stop breeding more next year and then it slowly phase out kind of thing. We're hoping like we get more people on our side and maybe we can do something with government to stop what they're doing to the animals. But I feel like there should be more there should be more like alternatives promoted, you know? There is, there is a lot. Because I, I don't really know of any that like... like I get it, is, is, I get it. You gotta look for it sometimes, but like yeah. for Christmas, like Sainsbury's and Tesco's have been promoting a lot. Right. And like if, if you go to their vegan aisle, they've got a plant-based aisle and there's vegetarian freezer sections, there's a bunch of vegan stuff in there, you just gotta know where to look. Yeah. But in the UK, it's one of the best places to be vegan on earth. This yeah, is yeah, a question yeah. that I had. In like the ideal world where every human on the planet was a vegan, what would be the case for like, say buying pet food for your cats and stuff like that? Because obviously they've got like meat content in them and they need that meat to survive. In an ideal world where every human was vegan. Like, yeah, we wouldn't be slaughtering. Like, I wouldn't yeah, agree with uh, having that. slaughterhouses just for cats. Yeah, that's um, what I mean, I was just curious. Yeah, so, so basically like, cats need taurine from meat. 
cats, they're domesticated animals. So they don't actually exist in the wild. Like, um, you know, they're not lions or anything like that. They, they exist in our households. So like, I ask people to be vegan first, but then if you've got pets like dogs, dogs are omnivores. So they're really yeah. easy to be uh, ve vegan, get vegan dog food, really good brands out there. But with cats, they're, they're carnivores, they're obligate carnivores, but you can still design plants and get s supplements in there that mimics what they would usually get. Because I think like, if you have a cat, you're morally responsible for the animals that are killed to feed that animal. So like, let's just, if you had a cat, you wouldn't let them attack another person's cat yeah. to death to eat that cat. Or you wouldn't go out and kill cats to feed your cat because your cat needs meat. Um, you would go, let's just say there was no chickens and pigs and fish to feed your cat. You wouldn't go out and shoot cats to feed your cat because you like cats, you know what I mean? So why do, why do we kill other animals to feed our house animals? Yeah. yeah. I was under the impression that like, cats and dogs couldn't live without meat, so I was just questioning that one yeah. passport. Obviously we talk to people first. <laughs> yeah. When you've been vegan a while, you start going, oh my God, I don't eat fish because it's cruel. I'm paying for all these fish or like, I don't know, chickens to be tortured and killed. And they give the animals the scraps out of the slaughterhouses. So the dead, dying, diseased animals. So they've been known, like I think in the US, they've been known to feed gas chambered um, animals from shelters, like dogs and cats, back to dogs and cats. Uh, they, they give them all the, the, the crappiest stuff out of this, just all the scraps. So like, I, I say to people, look, if you wouldn't kill a cat to feed your cat, why would you kill like a chicken to feed yeah, your cat, you know what I mean? I mean, if your cat was trying to attack a bird, you would try to probably try to stop them from attacking that bird. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, it's interesting. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know with cats and dogs and domesticated animals like that, I didn't know it was more of a supplementary requirement. I yeah. thought it was as black and white as... They need meat. Yeah, well, they right. need what the nutrients that the meat pr provides. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what well, I mean? So, like, well, we need B12, but... Get that. Yeah, yeah. Like, for instance, we need B12, but we don't have to kill animals to get B12. We can have a supplement. Yeah. And they supplement it in the food supply anyway. So we don't need the meat to get the B12. Like, same with cats. They need taurine. And um, they can't have, like, carbohydrates and things like that. Mm -hmm. So they can take the carbs out and they can isolate the protein and give them the nutrients they need without the killing of the animal. And because they're, they're, they're domesticated animals anyway, they're not, they're not like, not talking about like a tiger or something. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. like I always say this, if your cat's 90% healthy, right? I'd rather the cat be 90% healthy than executing all these other animals to feed to your cat. You know, and they're, they're, you know, like, I don't know, the turkeys that cat, cats are eating are coming out places like this. And I don't know what other animals are fed to cats, usually fish, seafood the most exploited and tortured, abused animal on earth, I see animals, so like, yeah, but people will say, uh, so, so lose-lose situation, people go, you're an animal abuser because you're feeding cats vegan, right? Oh, this is bad, you, this is cruelty to cats. But then, it's, uh, but it's, you're not an animal abuser for killing other animals to feed to your cat. Yeah. So like, what, <laughs> I know which one I'd rather. Yeah, like, a house cat does not have, like, that type of moral precedent over all other animals, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. If they're in a survival situation, you can't control it. But when you're going to the store and you're buying it, there's other ways too. You can find like scraps and things like this, and something that you're not you're not funding. Then, um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose that's different. Hey, brother. Hi, you hungry, mate? Yeah, yeah. You want two? Yeah, yeah. Two. Is this just what we're giving out? No turkey crown, roast crown. Animal free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah we don't want the turkeys to be hurt this Christmas. That's all. Yeah, that's all, man. In the man. Listen, man, it's, it's cruel, some of the shit yeah. there, man, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? I was in this place the other night. You was? That's me there. You know, yeah. excuse me language, man. Oh, that's all right, I go for it. I, I think it's... It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's me, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, horrible places they are. Yeah. Do you want vegan mayo? Yeah, please. Do you want two for your brother? No, no. Are you no, sure? That's fine, man. Because we're, we're about to pack up, so we're just we're, we're handing them out. You know what, man? One, one of it is perfect, man. Thank you, man. They're rolling out. What do you think? It's not bad? It's incredible. It's incredible? Yeah. Really like it? it? Yeah, no turkeys harmed. Yeah. It's good, eh? This is, a, this is a turkey I saved her the other, other day from her farm. Hey, brother, how are you, man? How are you doing? How you going? Good. How you doing, mate? Good, mate. I'm how good. Enjoy? Yeah, good, man, hey? Yo. You're just showing people what goes on in these um, farms and places, hey? Are you a vegan or you're not vegan yet? Uh, not vegan. But I want, I want to change. You want to, you want to go vegan? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, man. So, what, what do you have? Do you just still eat all the animals and all the, all the animal products, or have you done anything to change what yeah, you eat? I, I've uh, reducing it a lot. You're reducing it, what you eat, yeah. Yeah, I really want to change. 
you know a bit about the gas chambers. This, yeah. These are here in Manchester. There's some Is this one? Ashton Online. Yeah. Yeah, there's a gas chamber out there. You can hear the pigs screaming from the park next door. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy. Mad, yeah. It's called um, Tulip Meats. Yeah. Just over there, so. Yeah, it's cr pretty crazy, man. If you want to take this, you should do Veganuary this year, dude. Yeah, Have you heard of Veganuary? Yeah, January. I mean, if you're against animal cruelty, it only makes sense that you uh, stop paying for it. You've probably heard it a million times from me, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. When did you start going vegan? I went vegan seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah. What made you go vegan? Mainly, I felt like a hypocrite. Um, yeah. And I was against cruelty to animals and I was eating it. So, like, I just, like... I started thinking about karma and that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because I was in gangs and all that, and I was uh, pretty violent in the gangs and on drugs and that, and then I like, oh, yeah. I, I got sober and I tried to like, turn over a new leaf and uh, I was being violent towards the animals on my plate. So like, I didn't want to do that anymore. Animals more defenseless, innocent. They did nothing wrong to me. I didn't see any good in it, you know what I mean? And look at them. Can't even lift up their own weight. They're suffering in a farm somewhere. The worst ones when like, you know, those grinder ones, they put like chicken. Like. The chicks in the grinder, yeah. That's like the worst. That's for eggs. That's the egg industry. Yeah, that's why like, that's why you should go vegan because like you're still supporting the dairy industry if you're just vegetarian, right? Yeah. Turkey farms. Oh, this is no turkey roast crown. Oh, you're a vegan? Yeah. Uh, well here, this is a good little Christmas pack you can download if you're vegan and it'll get, show you where all the stuff is. I'm just a big fan. Oh, uh, yeah, really? Uh, How you going, man? I watch you on YouTube. Do you, brother? Yeah. Oh, excellent, man. What's your name? Philip. Philip? Yeah. Good to meet you, Philip. Really cool, Are you a vegan? Yeah. Oh, cool, man. How long for? Uh, a year. A year? Yeah. Good work. Really good to hear. I started watching you and Ed. Oh, really? Love Ed. Who doesn't love Ed? Yeah. Legend. Hello. Hi. How are you? Can I give you a hug? Of course you can. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Um, I just want to say, like, I'm already being, what, oh, like, cool. I love all the work you do. Thank you. I love you on YouTube and that, and yeah, keep up with the good work. Thank you. I just wanted to say that. Hello, I, heard, I already met. I know, yeah. I never even considered going vegan before I saw your videos, literally ever. It never even crossed my mind. But now, like, I've not eaten meat for well, way over a month now, and we're swapping, like, everything out, so. Great to hear. To say that. Good. You have inspired me. Oh, <laughs> great. I love to hear that. Hey, my brother. Keep How doing you? what you're doing. Thank you so much, mate. I'm not a vegan yet, mate. You're on, the, you're on your way? <laughs> How many people come up to me and go, I'm not vegan yet, but I watch all your videos. I'm getting there. So good. All right, so another successful night, giving out the no turkey crowns here. People loved them. I mean, they were all good reviews, except for maybe a couple, but amazing product. Look, we're educating people on what happens to animals. We're hoping people make the right choice. Everyone at home, those of you who are against animal abuse, animal cruelty, animal exploitation, please make the right choice this Christmas and into the new year. Veganuary is coming up, January. So I'll leave links down below where you can be vegan. Be vegan forever, the rest of your life. If you're against animal cruelty and animal abuse, that doesn't change as the weeks and months go on. That's something that you adhere to for life. So. Have a Merry Christmas and a vegan New Year, and I'll see you all very soon. And thanks to Chef Taz here, Joey's Santa's little helper. Good work. Finished. Take some cake if you like. Okay. Vegan cakes, and we got, um, yeah, take all of them. Take three. Take the tray. Here you go, here's some information for you as well. For, for being vegan, no, no harming animals.